this is one of the good books that I read, and it's called The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger. And I enjoy reading this book because it was interesting how it described the lives of women who work for the fashion magazine. And um, it includes many specific descriptions about how they were, how they felt, and how they thought, and like how which problems that they faced as they worked in the fashion magazine. And I just thought it was a unique topic that not many books would talk about. Um, the main character in this book is Andrea. And um, she was willing to be a journalist, but then she gets a job in The Runaway, the fashion magazine, as Miranda Priestley's assistant. And Miranda Priestley was a famous fashion editor in this book. And so if you work as her assistant for one or two years, then um, you would get, you would be hired anywhere that you want. So, um, and Miranda Prissy was like a devil because she gave some impossible tasks to her assistant. And like, so Andrea has to decide because she lost her personal lives because the task that she, Miranda Priestley gave it to her was really hard. So, like, she had to make some choices between um, her personal lives and her work, like, in the few places in the book. And you're going to read this book to find out what choices that she makes. And Miranda Priestley, um, and she, Andrea realizes some parts that she didn't realize uh, in Miranda Prissy before, about Miranda Prissy before, and you're going to also read this book to find that out. I read this book as 8, not 9 or 10, because it was a bit challenging for me, since it had many descriptive words that I didn't know. And the theme of this book, I think, um, um, what a matter is your own choices and things depend on your own choices. At the end of this book, um, Andrea actually realizes um, that things depend on her own choices. I recommend this book to you guys, probably more to the girls, because it talks about like Prada and Chanel and some fashion makers that you could be interested in. Um, it has some swear words and some inappropriate parts with their boyfriend, but it's really good.